everyone, my name is Carissa and I'm the Fake It Till You Make It Mom. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're joining me for the first time then, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my September favorites video. Um, and I have quite a few things to go over so let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I want to talk about is a movie. Definitely not a kids movie, but uh, my husband and I saw a movie um, this month called Imperium. Um, it has Daniel Radcliffe in it, who is Harry Potter, if you aren't sure who that is. And he plays an FBI agent who goes undercover as a skinhead in the uh, Aryan Nation sort of groups. Um, and it's actually a really, really good movie. So you watch him go throughout the film trying to emulate the behaviors and mentality that these guys have. Um, and women um, in that movement and um, it's really hard to watch some of it um, but it is really really well done and it didn't end the best that it probably could have but the rest of the movie was um, I don't want to say eye-opening because I don't think it's based on a true story or anything like that but it was definitely um, it was definitely an interesting watch so um, I highly recommend checking it out. I'm going to go ahead and in the comments or in the description box below, I'm going to put the IMDb link as well as a link to the trailer for the movie. So I'll put that down there. My husband and I both really enjoyed it and give it big thumbs up. So that is called Imperium. Uh, I want to talk about two songs today. Well, not a I actually want to talk about a song and then a channel. Um, one of the songs I want to talk about, if you have a child that likes to watch PBS programs, then I'm sure you are no stranger to the theme song for Thomas the Train. And that has been a huge hit in our house. Um, it has curbed a lot of tantrums, and that means quite a bit for us. Watch, watch how simple it is. They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight, shunting trucks and holly free. Uh, that has been a big hit in our house for this month. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is a Pandora channel. Um, it may just be the fact that I am 28 years old that this music is my favorite, but the 90s alternative station on Pandora has been a serious lifesaver for me. It has helped me clean my house. It's helped me stay motivated for working out and dancing with the girls and put a smile on my face because I know like every single song and all the words to all the songs. So if you have not gone to the 90s alternative Pandora station, I recommend it. It's a lot of like Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers and stuff like that, but it is a really good uh, station. I give it a big thumbs up. Moving along on the list, I want to talk about two kids' foods that have been um, entertaining and wonderful in our home and bite-sized, really good to go. Um, and one of those is this bag of um, dried blueberries, uh, wild blueberries. And they're really tiny. They're really tiny little, they almost look like... It's a horrible reference. They look like little poops. Um, but they are, see Kira, like giving them the eyeball. Do you want one? Eat it. There, here's the other one. Um, yum, yum, yum. So these are awesome. You can get these just at Fry's, Kroger, Walmart, Target, everywhere pretty much. Anywhere, it's going to be in the... Uh, like where the raisins are and all the other dried fruit. So check these out. Um, there's a lot of them in the bag. This was like, I think, $5 or something for this bag, but they are um, pretty good for them because it's got all the antioxidants that blueberries do. Plus it's been helping Kira with her constipation. Um, so there's that. The next food I want to talk about that's on our September list, for kids at least, is black olives. Now, I love black olives myself, <laughs> but it has been a long time since I have been able to put them on my fingers. So, this has been 
quite entertaining for us. What is that? <laughs> Are you going to eat it? So we love black olives, we also love green olives, but the black olives have been far more entertaining. So those are on my two kids foods for September. Moving on to adult foods or mom foods, things that I find either convenient or delicious for me. One of which is the convenience factor. Um, I recently got a new crock pot because my other one was in terrible condition. And I just got a little cheapy one at the local grocery store. It was like $16 for a four quart. And first thing I did in that bad boy is put in a pot roast and some potatoes and carrots. And it cooked all day, but it was delicious. We were eating roast beef sandwiches for like three days. Kira loved all the carrots and the potatoes and all that stuff. So it was... Um, not expensive considering the number of meals that we were able to get out of it so I'm sure that it's not a it is a super ancient concept the idea of slow cooking throughout the day and making pot roast meals it's supposed to be a mom's go-to but recently discovered for me so I'm very happy with my crock pot and I'm happy that I made a pot roast so yum Another thing on the indulgence list for parents or adults or just me are the Chips Ahoy and Oreo Thins, the really skinny, um, really thin cookies. And my husband loves the Oreo ones. He has not really eaten many of them because he was on a diet um, for 30 days to lose weight, cut weight while he was with his personal trainer, which by the way, he lost uh, 21 pounds and 6 inches, so yay Rob, um, good for you, I'm proud of you and everything, um, but the, he said that the ratio on those Oreos is just absolutely, just perfect, and then I like the, um, thins for the chocolate chip cookies for the Chips Ahoy, just because I'm, uh, one of those people that likes to dunk my cookies, and they don't take as long to absorb the milk and there's just a lot more of them so I feel like I can eat more of them without the guilt factor because they have less calories because they're so much smaller so those are on the mom adult slash whatever indulgent foods moving straight along I'm gonna go into kids products that I really like um, the first of which is actually a toy that was given to Kira uh, by Rob's grandparents. I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see this monstrous thing. So let's go ahead and zoom out just a little. You know, I'm just going to back up. And I'm going to lift it up. So this is one of those remote control cars. It's a Minnie Mouse one. And that has provided um, a good amount of entertainment for Kira, who has figured out how to push the button and is getting used to riding it um, without jerking it. She's also gotten to be quite a daredevil where she tries to stand on the seat while pushing the button, um, ride side saddle, things like that, but it is still all in good fun. The weather is getting nice, so I can't wait to actually take it out for a spin outside. So that's fun. The next thing on the um, kid product, this is something that I've had for quite a while. Um, if I can find the manufacturer, if I can find that information, I'm going to put it in the description box um, for you guys. Now this didn't get a lot of use from Kira, but Ari loves this thing. It's called, it's a peekaboo playmat and it's called 123 Under the Sea. 
and it starts out like this like it looks like a soft book like it's got a little hinge that shuts and everything so it's a soft book and it's got like little feelers here but then you open it up and it turns into a play mat so this is the front side which is not as fun as the other side for Ari at least but the other side oh she goes crazy it's got all kinds of stuff you can see the um, little fringe that moves down there at the bottom this thing this flap right here goes up and down um, this fish hides in this little treasure thing and then all these animals are crinkly which she loves so this has been awesome if I can find out who makes it I will put it in the description box and just for future reference guys um, throughout this video if there's anything that you want to check out look in the description box I'm going to have links for everything um, in there just so that you guys can look it up see if you want any uh, if there's any information that you want on it so and you guys can also um, put those things in the comments below oh there's a squeaker too somewhere in there I'm not sure what it's attached to but yeah so this is an awesome um, play mat for Ari it keeps her occupied for a good 30 minutes which we need her to do all the tummy time that we possibly can to get rid of that flat spot that we've got that's rounding out. This next item on the kids products that I really like has been hidden until right now because you're going to probably hear Kira start screaming um, when I pull them out. So I've got two parts, it's a two-parter, it's, it's one product but two parts. So I've got this which is a huge ginormous bubble wand And I've got this, which is the Bubble Blitz Bubble Blowout. This was actually given to Kira for her first birthday from my sister. And this thing, get, keep in mind guys, it is noisy. Um, so I apologize about that in advance. But this thing produces a ton of bubbles and we absolutely love playing with it now that it's cooling down outside we have been playing with it in the backyard and having a whole bunch of fun with it there's bubbles filling up this room right now so this is an awesome thing entertainment for long periods of time and thumbs up from everyone in the entire house all right, and now I want to talk about a mom product for September. It's something that I just got yesterday. It's something that I am currently wearing as well. If you notice, I did something a little bit different with my eye makeup, and that is because I finally had purchased myself a palette um, of eyeshadows from a company called BH Cosmetics. They were having a huge sale online. Um, I think it was normally a $40 uh, palette and I got it on sale for $16. It looks like this. This is the first volume or the first edition. It has 120 colors and this is a very, very bright palette. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside. It does lock, which for me is a big deal because my Smashbox palette, which is actually worth quite a bit of money that was given to me, um, Kira found out you could just open it up and she has destroyed so many of the eyeshadows, the eyeliners, and the lip products are completely gone. So she had fun with it, but at the same time, that's a huge bummer for me because I did like what was in there. So this is the inside of this palette and you can see so many colors and so super bright. And so I am currently wearing um, pink, purple, uh, blue, and turquoise. I don't know if you guys can see that. It doesn't look the best because I'm still learning how to do my makeup guys so forgive me there but I am very happy with this palette. If I didn't mention how much I got it for, I got it for 16 bucks. So I'm going to link not only this palette but I'm just going to put the website for BH Cosmetics in the description box below. I think they might still be having a sale though by the time you watch this they probably aren't. But 
they have sales all the time and they have really good products these are actually very very pigmented um, and so they're not like crappy quality by any means they're actually really nice eyeshadows in this palette so that's something to think about and this is a nice hard case so I'm very very happy with this last but not least this is kind of a miscellaneous thing that I just want to give a shout out to I am absolutely in love with the new Jujubee print, the Kaiju City print. I have decided that that is what I want my future, um, either BFF or whatever new bags they come out with, that's what I want to get it in. Um, I think they are absolutely adorable with the monsters and everything all over. Um, I know they come out with new prints all the time, but out of all the Tokidoki prints they have ever released, this is by far my favorite. I think it is absolutely, the colors for one are awesome and then I love that it's got monsters all over it. So for me that is awesome. I absolutely yeah. love it and um, it is a wonderful print and they also came out with some other um, like wallets and, uh, and organizers and things like that. So I'm going to see if I can check those out here in the future uh, once I get a little more financial stability going on. Kira's eating like half of this bag just sitting there and that's what that rustling was so I'm taking these away because we have to go to the garlic festival soon and I don't want her destroying her appetite. Um, and Kira pulled this out. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this as far as a funny book that I would <laughs> recommend. I actually got this at the baby shower for Kira um, when I was pregnant with her because every, I had everyone um, bring a book as their card, and my friend Lindsay and um, Sarah, my, both my friends, Lindsay and Sarah, they bought this book, and it is called All My Friends Are Dead. And <laughs> I laughed so hard just flipping through this during my baby shower showing people that I was like crying. It was so funny. I'm, I'll show you guys a couple pages. So there's of course a dinosaur that says all my friends are dead. The dodo bird, all my friends are dead. <laughs> Most of my friends are dead. What? Oh. Now all my friends are dead. <laughs> like, I mean, it's depressing. Um, <laughs> this one, my only friend has recently gone missing. What humor is that, um, considering, like, socks somehow always go missing? Just, I absolutely think all my friends are puddles. <laughs> it may be a depressing book for some, but I think it's really, really hilarious. So, uh, that was just a bonus one, I guess, because Kira wanted me to, to, she pulled this one out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get Kira ready. We are going to go to a garlic festival and then we're going to be going to a Founders Day event um, for my city uh, in the, a little bit later in this afternoon. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me for my September favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, all of the items that I talk about today, they are going to be in the description box below. Not sure if I'm going to be able to put this one in there simply because I bought this at the aquarium um, at the mall and I don't know if the aquarium has a website but I will look. I'll see if they have it because these are actually really good bubbles um, or at least really good bubble mix compared to like Miracle Bubble that you can buy in all the, the stores. Um, these are really nice bubbles. I've been using these in the bubble maker and they're really vibrant iridescent sort of deal. So. Check out the description for information about all the products that I talked about today in this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this September Favorites. Keep an eye out for October's. It'll be filmed on the fourth Saturday of the month. Kira's going to knock this tripod right over. But yes, it's going to be filmed on the fourth Saturday of the month just like it is every month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.